you take Pfizer, if you take Moderna, you take Moderna. But Dr. Yaletti, can you choose which of these two vaccines you get, whether that is Moderna or Pfizer? Um, you can if you want, but I, I, honestly, I, they're both very efficacious and both have a strong safety profile. So I, I don't see any reason why you need to pick one over the other. I think it's most important just to go get the shot in the arm. Whichever one it is, just get it. With both the safety profiles, as Christian talked about, um, the data is very, very encouraging. And really, 95% efficacy is just absolutely phenomenal. And so you can't go wrong with either of them. And each of the vaccines have just about that 95% efficacy. Could you walk us through what the differences are? Because if people are considering different options, what makes Pfizer different from Moderna? Uh, as I said, if you look at the data that was published in the FDA review back in December, um, uh, the Pfizer study used 40,000, Moderna used 35,000 people. But the, the, the side effects and the complications efficacy were almost identical. There's very minimal differences. And as Dr. Professor Mattel would say, is that the, they're both mRNA vaccines. So th there's no indication that if I have this condition or, or this age group or something like that, I must go to one versus the other. There really are, they're very, there's almost no difference between the two. So I would not, I really would encourage people not to try to figure out is one better than the other because they really are, are almost identical in my opinion. All right, thank you for that clarity there. Let's go ahead and bring in another viewer who had a question about the timing of the doses. If you're unable to receive the second dose of your vaccine within the prescribed period of either 21 or 28 days, and you have to get it later, would that have any effect on the effectiveness of the overall vaccine? Dr. Yaleti, I'm going to send this one to you again. So is it okay for Diana or any Hoosier to delay the second dose? Yes, it is. I think the most important thing is that there's a minimum time you have to wait. So you have to wait, you know, at least two weeks. But after that, when you get the second dose, ideally within what they say, but it is okay to wait even longer. It's really a booster dose. The most important thing is to make sure you get it. A lot of people might decide, well, I've had some side effects and maybe I want to get the second dose. So you may, want, you may end up waiting. Uh, but I, I would definitely make sure that you actually get the second dose. You want, if you want the best possible outcome, you can make sure you get the second dose. So don't worry as much about the timing, but definitely don't forget to take it. Here's some now. A lot of.